Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Sunset is Coming by the Chuck Wagon Game. And we end up cabling this on second fret to match the recording. We're going to walk through some things in root position. And we start on a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to be going to an F major chord. We're going to F major. Normal, we'll talk about an easy way to play this, but normally you do this as a first fret bar, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the third finger on the on the D string on the third fret. You strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord. It sounds really happy. And a good substitute for that, though, if you're just starting out, it's something called F major seven, where you do the first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret and third finger on the D string on the third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7, it sounds really groovy heavy. And then from the F we go back to our C, and then we got another C, and another C, but then we go to a D major chord, we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really happy. You may also want to dig on kind of a D7 kind of sound, where you do first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the high E string, second fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really happy. And then from the D, we move on to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E third, and third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high string third. It's kind of another cool option for G. And then from the G, we go back to our C major, C major, and another C major, and then we go to an A minor chord. And all you really have to do is take the third finger and go to the G string second fret and kind of strum all those together. And that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really sad. And you could kind of lift off the third finger and make that an A minor 7 2 if that's a little bit easier for you. And then from the A minor, we go back to our F, and then a C, and then we go to a G major, and then we go to a C major through our verse. Now you could kind of work this as kind of a, an 8 down count on each chord, kind of a C, C. times with a song like this I like to use something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so we took the C and just tried that a lot you know down down up it through our chorus and we have kind of a C Now the weird part is to play along with the Chuck Wagon Gang, instead of starting on a C, they're starting on a D major chord. 
So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is capo on second fret, and now your C is really a D major, your F is really a G major chord, and your D major is really an E major chord, and your G major is really an A major chord. I might make it a little, a little bit easier for some of the changes. So we took it from the very beginning that way. We have the C. I think about adding to the song that was bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note before the chord. So on the C, you have the A for the bass. On the F bar, you have the low E for the bass. And on the F major, so you have D for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D for the bass. And on the G, you'd have low E for the bass. So we tried that next verse with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have C with an A bass. C with an A bass. take the C chord and do a bass and then an up and then go to the low E on the third fret and then open A and then second fret on the A. It's kind of like a little waiting C idea of kind of that three, up, three, low, two around the C chord. So we tried to kind of throw in that in. It happens on the fourth C from the top of the chorus. So we have the C, C, verse. Now one other thing I think about adding in is, is something I call a country feel, where a lot of times on a C chord, for instance, well, with the bass player, they'll play a C note for the root of the chord, so we call it the root of the chord, which is the name of the chord, and then if you count it up five notes on your hand, C, D, E, F, G, they'll play a G note for what's called the fifth of the chord. So you could kind of do the A string for your root, and then a down, or a down, and then take the third finger and move to the low E third for a G note, and then do another down up. So it's kind of an A string third, low E third, while you're on the C chord, that can be kind of cool. And then you can get that same kind of sound on the other chords that you do. On the F bar, you'd have low E to the A string for your third fifth. And on the F major seven, you may want to do the D string third to the A string third to kind of get that same sound. On the D, you'd have the D to the A string for your bass. Kind of D string down, A string. And on the G, you'd have low E to the D string for your root fifth. And on the A minor, you'd have the a string to the low E string for your root. So we tried that next verse with kind of a country feel. You'd have C.
from there that we're going into our last verse. Now, if you know there are like around these chords too, you know, feel free to take this lesson and throw in whatever you can to kind of see what you can say with the song. That's the basics of how you get strung through Sunset is Coming by the Chuck Wagon Gang. So, good luck. <laughs>